Are you excited for the first day of summer vacation, Oswald? I guess, but there's nothing to do with Ben gone. School's boring, but home's boring too. Well, when I was ten... And the rest of the town is dead. There used to be stuff to do here. The movie theater, the game and card store, that ice cream shop with the amazing waffle cones. No argument there. But as I was saying, I remember when I was ten, I wasn't home in the summer until I got called in for supper. I rode my bike and played baseball. Who am I supposed to play baseball with? My best friend moved away and all the other kids are going to camps. Or they have memberships at the pool or they're traveling. I'm sorry, but that's all kind of expensive. And without my old job at the mill, you know. If Ben were still here, it would be different. Even if we were just playing the same old video games, at least we'd make it fun. Look, I know you're old enough to stay home by yourself, but I don't like the idea of you staying by yourself the whole day while your mom and I are at work. But you've got the library, right? I bet they've got some sci-fi books, like those weird robots you've been drawing lately. Or you could surf the net... Nobody says surf the net anymore, Dad. They do now, because I just said it. <laughs> anyway, after you spend your mornings at the library, when you get hungry, you can head over to Jeff's Pizza for a slice and a soda. I could pick you up there once my shift's over at 3. We can do this every day I have to go into work. So you'll give me the money for the pizza? Son, we're bad off, but we're not so bad off I can't spot you three fifty for a slice and a soda. Okay, it's hard to say no to a warm, gooey slice. boy. Have fun. Stay out of trouble. Time. Sorry, stomach. That's all we get till we're home. Kid? <gasps> Yes, sir? I got a couple more cheese slices that didn't sell at lunch. You want them? On the house, I'd have to throw them out anyway. I'll get you some more orange soda while I'm at it. Oh, okay. Sure. Thanks. Mm. Off work. We'll be out front of Jeff's in two minutes. Maybe this summer might not be so bad after all. Later that evening. Who do you think is gonna win this one? Zendrelix or Mecha Zendrelix? You know I always root for Zendrelix. What? Zendrelix is the bad guy, the monster. He's meant to terrify you. <laughs> Come on, Dad. You can see the zipper. It's some actor in a rubber suit. How scary could a guy in a suit be? Later. A pretty good day. I might not have been. I don't have money. But I have monster movies, and the library, and lunchtime pizza slices. Will it keep going all summer, though? Please, please let something interesting happen. The next day. The sixth grader has risen. Hi, Mom. How was work? Blech. I hate having to work such long hours. But since your dad, you know. Listen, adult life is always a fight between time and money. And now is my time with you. So I demand a morning hug. How was day one of summer break? Mm, okay. Not the same without Ben, huh? I know, it's a bummer. But hey, maybe a new friend will move to town. Why would anybody move here? I see your point. Do you want more bacon? You better grab it before your dad gets in here and vacuums it all up. Sure. The summer goes on. And on. Isn't there another book in this series? There is, but it has a 30-person wait list. You could just buy it from the bookstore. And 
خاندان One night. Zendrelix 2020 is finally out on streaming! Can we watch that? I don't know. There's no way it's as good as the original version. It seems like it's just a cheap knockoff of the Zendrelix movies that came out when I was a kid. So the best movies are always the ones that you watched when you were a kid? Not always, but in this case, yes. I'll take a puppet or model over that CGI any day. It's so slick and fake. It's got no warmth, no texture. I thought you liked the old Zend relics. Just to make fun of, and it's getting boring. Just like everything else. Okay, if you guys don't cut out the nerd argument, I'm picking, and I promise it will be a romantic comedy. I'm just gonna go to my room, watch whatever you want. Hey. Hey, Beck. How was your summer? Awesome. At Myrtle Beach for vacation. It's so cool. Arcades and mini golf everywhere. Jealous. I wish you were here. Me too. How's your summer? Okay. Been going to the library a lot. Lunch at Jeff's Pizza. That's all? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I'm sorry. That pizza place is creepy. So that old John Deere, oh, she stole my heart. And now that tractor, she refused to stop. What's with the attitude, son? I can tell something's been bothering you, and I know it's not just the country music. I'm tired of every day being exactly the same. Ben texted me yesterday. He's at Myrtle Beach having an awesome time. He wanted to know what I was doing, and I told him I was going to the library and Jeff's Pizza every day. And you know what he texted back? I'm sorry, that pizza place is creepy. Yeah, I'm sorry, Oz. Things are hard right now where money's concerned. I'm sorry it affects you. You're a kid. You shouldn't have to worry about money. I'm hoping they'll move me to full time at the store in the fall. That'll help a lot. And if I get promoted to deli manager, it'll be another $1.50 an hour. Ben's dad got a job that pays even better than his old job at the mill. Ben's dad had to move 500 miles away to get that job. Your mom and I talked about it, but we decided not to move. Especially with your grandma living here and needing help sometimes. This is our home, kiddo. And things aren't perfect, but we just have to make the best of them. And so every day you toss me out on the street like I'm garbage? If this is the best of things, I'd hate to see the worst. Almost time for pickup. Unless... No. Today's gonna be different. Today, you have to come in and find me. You're not dropping me off and picking me up like somebody's dry cleaning today. And I'm not going to make it easy for you. Even if that means I'll get pink eye in here. Achoo! Oh, I don't know if Dad's looking for me yet. But that probably just gave me away. Besides, I need air. <gasps> Toto? I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Where am I? It can't be. This is where Jeff's Pizza used to be. And those look just like the things I've been drawing lately. But creepier. Oh, oh sorry, dude. Are you okay? I haven't seen you here before. Yeah. I'm just visiting my grandma for a few weeks. This place is great. Though, all these old games. <laughs> old games? You're joking, right? <laughs> I don't know where you're from, but Freddy says the newest game's around here. That's why the lines to play them are so long. <laughs> oh yeah, I was just kidding. I'm Chip. Do you want to play skee-ball with my buddy Mike? Uh, yeah. You got a name? Oswald. I gotta warn you, Oswald. I'm a beast at skee-ball. Thanks for having mercy on me. A little later. Hey guys, I'd better run. My grandma's supposed to pick me up in a few minutes. Okay dude, maybe we'll catch you later. Now, how do I get back? Probably not just the front door. 
Not like dad's in the car waiting outside here in the 80s. I'll try the way I came in, I guess. I don't hear anything anymore. <laughs> it worked! Now, to find out how much trouble I'm in, no time's passed here at all. See ya, kid! You're in a good mood today. Quite a contrast from yesterday's Mr. Grumpy Pants. It's just because I discovered a ball pit at Jeff's Pizza that lets me travel in time. What was that? Oh, I said the library is supposed to get my book in today. Ready to go, Oz? Ready. Bye, Dad. <laughs> Glad you're feeling better, son. Uh-huh. Hey, it's Oswald. We just ordered some pizza, Oz. Come on over. Anybody ever call you that? Like, the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> they do now! You know, when I was little, I loved Freddy Fazbear's band. I even had a stuffed Freddy I used to sleep with. Now, I look up at that stage, and those things give me the creeps. It's weird, huh? How stuff you liked as a little kid gets creepy when you're older. Like clowns. Yeah, or dolls. Sometimes, I think the dolls all lined up in my sister's room are staring at me. Or rabbits. I started falling asleep, and I was like, The Eternal Song is the perfect title for this movie, because I didn't think it was ever going to end. What did you think of it, Oz? I haven't seen that one. Name one movie that you've seen that you really like. I'm trying to figure out what your taste is. Uh, E.T.? <laughs> E.T.? E.T. was like three years ago. You really do need to get out more. Do they not have movie theaters where you come from? Oh, sure. We've got movie theaters. I really like this one called Netflix. Weird. Never heard of it. Hey, do you guys want to play some games? I feel the ski ball calling to me. You guys go ahead. I think I'll just stay at the table. What? And watch the show? <laughs> Is something wrong? If you've suddenly decided you like Freddy Fazbear's music, we need to get you help fast. No, I just feel like I'm mooching off you guys. You paid for my games the other day, then the pizza... Hey, dude, it's cool. We hadn't even noticed. How about I just go hang out with you while you play? Or we could play using these, I guess. I forgot I was wearing these pants that had all the tokens in them. <laughs> yeah, that'll work, Oz. Let's go. You're crazy, dude. <laughs> yep, that's me, I guess. The next day. Dad, how old were you in 1985? I was just a couple years older than you. And other than baseball, all I could think about was how many quarters I had to spend at the arcade. Why do you ask? I've just been doing some research. Jeff's Pizza, back before it was Jeff's Pizza. It was some kind of arcade, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. But it closed. Like everything else in this town. Pretty much. Yeah. Have a good day. See you in the afternoon. What was that about? Jeff's in the back? Huh? Something's not right. Susie? Chip? Susie, Mike? Where are you? Well, I can't be in danger here, because th this is the past. And if I haven't even been born yet, nothing bad can happen to me. What? F follow you? This is the worst version of Alice in Wonderland I've ever seen. You can't hurt me. I haven't been born. You can't... You can't hurt... hurt... <laughs> For his usual slice and soda today. Okay, well, if he comes in, have him call me. Please. Dad? Oswald! What were you thinking? 
Hiding in that nasty old thing? I... Didn't you hear me calling you? Time! M move this... Time? <laughs> what are you talking about? Look how dirty this is. Your mother... Yeah! Jeff? Where? What are you? Help! Jeff, help! See you later, guys. Jeff? What? What, what did you do to my dad? Where are you taking me? Home? How do you know where I live? You can't do this. This is kidnapping or something. My mom will be home soon. She'll call the police. I'm going to my room now, okay? I'm not trying to escape. I'm just going to my room. Mom, emergency! Something's wrong with Dad. Come home now! Who knows when she'll finally check her phone? Hours later. Oswald, it's Mom. Open the door. You need to tell me what's going on. It's gone? It's Dad. He's not okay. I'm not even sure where he is. He's in the bedroom watching TV. He made you a chicken pot pie for dinner. It's sitting on the stove. What? I'm not hungry. You saw Dad? And he's okay? He's okay, but I'm worried about you. I think it's a good thing school starts back up tomorrow. I think you're spending too much time by yourself. I probably should just go to bed. I have to get an early start in the morning. I think that's a good idea. And listen, if you're going to text me at the hospital, make sure it's a real emergency. You scared me. I thought it was. I'm sorry. It's alright, honey. Get some rest, okay? Okay. I'm not spending time by myself. I've actually been with my new friends in 1985. It's okay, Jinxie. Mom says it's safe. The next morning. <sighs> oh, that smells good. Was it a dream? Maybe just forget it all. New school year, new beginning. Feeling better? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. Uh, Mom? What is it, hun? Where's Dad? Oswald, your dad is sitting right there. If this is some kind of elaborate prank, you can cut it out right now because it has officially stopped being funny. Okay, I understand. I'll cut it out. I apologize. Don't dally too long. Your dad's taking you to school before work and neither of you want to be late. I don't understand. Are you real? Is this real? Am I going crazy? Don't bother picking me up this afternoon. I'll just catch the bus. Do you mind if I share your bench? Sure. Help yourself. What are you reading? Greek mythology. I've probably read this book a dozen times. It's like a comfort book for me. I read it when I need to be brave. Why's that? Well, the Greek heroes are super brave. They're always doing battle with some kind of big monster. Like the Minotaur or Hydra. It kind of puts things in perspective. You know, no matter how bad my problems are, at least I don't have to battle with a monster. Like a giant yellow rabbit. What? Nothing. So you read that book when you need to be brave? First day at a new school, third day in a new town. I don't know anybody yet. Yes, you do. I'm Oswald. I'm Gabrielle. Thanks, Gabrielle. This is exactly the conversation I needed to have today. That night. Aren't you going to eat anything? Dad? Okay, well, I'm going to get a glass of milk and do my homework now. Here you go, Jinxie. It's okay. Or it will be soon. 
I hope. Hi, Jeff. Oh, hey. You know, we just serve whole pizzas at night. No slices. Yeah. I just stopped by to get a soda to go. Okay. Let me get a pie out of the oven, and then I'll get it for you. Orange, right? Right. Thanks. C come on. Dad! Oh, you're still here. Oh, please be alive. You have to be. He's breathing. Thank goodness. We're not in the 80s. But how do I get you out of here? I can't call mom. She'll just think I'm crazy. You're lying again. Ah! No! Heroes. Be brave. Dad? Oswald? I don't understand why I'm here. What happened? Uh... I hid in the ball pit to play a prank on you, which I shouldn't have done. You came to look for me, and I guess you must have hit your head and lost consciousness. I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't mean for things to get so out of hand. I accept your apology, son. But you're right. You shouldn't have done it. And Jeff really should get rid of this ball pit before he has a lawsuit on his hands. I agree. You're bleeding. Yeah, I scraped my arm when I was trying to pull you out of the pit. We'll get your arm cleaned up at the house. Then your mom can dress the wound once she gets home from work. Dad, I know I can be a real pain sometimes, but I really do love you, you know? Same here, kiddo. Hey kid, you forgot your soda!